Well, for the first time since her daughter's death, the Denver mother is speaking out, saying it all could have been avoided. 24-year-old Cassandra Livingston was involved in a 2022 high-speed chase involving Denver police. She crashed into a tree and died. Now, the details of that case, including the officer's actions, took more than a year to come to light. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon joining us now after digging into the police department's internal investigation. Colette? Yeah, and guys, that investigation found the officers violated their policy around vehicle pursuits and didn't tell their supervisor about it. But Livingston's mother believes her daughter deserves more than the suspension the officers got. Near 24th and Roslyn in Denver, there's a tree Tilly McCone holds close to her heart. Sometimes we come once a week. I would come more often if I wasn't working. It's where she feels closest, to her daughter, Cassandra Livingston. We always come to the tree on her birthday. The family just spent what would have been Livingston's 26th birthday here, marking another milestone for McCone. Right when the paperwork was filed, she was, it was her birthday. The paperwork is a wrongful death lawsuit, which hinges on details from October 27th of 2022, when Livingston died while driving a stolen car. I don't know what to say about that. I don't like it, <laughs> but... Even that being what it is, it doesn't mean that that she she deserved to die. McCone didn't know what happened that night until December of the next year, when disciplinary letters for two Denver police officers were released, and both were suspended for their actions. I read everything that they said happened, and I was just blown away. I didn't know none of it. It's like it happened all over again. Statements from the officers claim they saw a black Kia Soul leaving a gas station off Colfax and Syracuse and believed it could be stolen based on its make and model and how quickly it exited the parking lot. The police were, you know, sort of operating on a hunch. McCone's attorney, Anthony Viorst, points to the internal investigation, which says the officers told their supervisor they quickly lost sight of the car and did not activate their emergency lights since they were only, quote, looking for it. It was a, you know, at worst, a motor vehicle theft, which is a nonviolent offense. Their supervisor asked repeatedly whether or not the officers chased the vehicle and they denied it during the initial investigation. The officers claimed they didn't see the car again until they were called to respond to a crash at 24th and Roslyn, where Livingston ran into a tree and died from her injuries. It was the chase that caused her to crash into the tree. I have no doubt about that. The officers were suspended for pursuing a vehicle in violation of policy and not telling their supervisor about it. The fact that they hid the, their actions, I think, does sort of speak volumes as well. The Denver Police Department operations manual states that any pursuit must balance the need for immediate apprehension of a suspect and the need to protect the public from danger caused by the pursuit. It continues to say that auto theft is not a compelling need for a pursuit. I know p the police do their job, but they did their job wrong this time. McCone wants her daughter's story told. I honestly think if they followed the rules, she would still be here. Saying what happened here should never happen to anyone else. I'm sad, but I kind of feel like, like I am standing up for her, you know? Keeping her daughter close to her heart, as always. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. Denver police tell me the officers involved in the chase are still employed with the department. Besides that, DPD says they don't comment on pending litigation. Live in the studio, Club Bordelon, Denver 7.